When we look at a web address, which is also known as a URL, the page name that you see is in fact the file name that follows the domain name. For example, the domain name for this website is paulsgolfshop.com and the page we are currently on is left-handed-golf-clubs.html. The left-handed golf clubs part of this URL is the file name. In this example, there is a subdirectory, sales, after the domain name, so the page name will come after the subdirectory. The page name is a great place to insert a keyword for this particular page. If you give your pages generic names, such as page 1 or home page, you will be wasting an opportunity to improve your SEO. It is recommended that you use your primary keyword for your page name. With the page highlighted in Everweb, select the Inspector window, then click on the Page Settings tab if it is not already selected. In the File Name field, type in your desired page name. In my example, my file name will be Left Handed Golf Clubs. When you publish your website, Everweb will replace any spaces between words with hyphens. You do not need to do this yourself. Repeat this process for every page in your site that you are trying to optimize for search engines. There may be some pages in your site that you do not want or need to optimize. For example, the Contact Us page might be a page that you are not trying to get to rank high in search engines. In this case, you do not need to optimize the page file name for that page. I will call this page Contact Us. This rule applies to other optimizations that we will be discussing later on in the course. If the page does not require optimization, you do not need to do any SEO work on that particular page. Note that you do not need to apply page name optimization to the home page of your site, as the home page's file name will always be index.html. This is a typical way that websites work, but we can still optimize the home page using the other methods that we will discuss later on in the course.